I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. It's been a downpour with no signs of letting up for tonight's contest between the LSU Tigers and the Oregon Ducks. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Ducks. The Tigers should win this game as long as they don't make many mistakes, right, Kirk? Oregon is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Hey, Kirk, AARP isn't calling this one wrong. The Tigers will win this one. Castillo from his own end zone. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. The offense will start at the 21-yard line. First and 10. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Frankly, back to pass. He's drilled as he throws. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Second so it's second ten. and ten. Rackley hands it off straight ahead. That was a fantastic play by this defense. You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Third, it's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 20. The Ducks with four receivers. Rackley back to throw. Rackley throws. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. On the field right now is a pretty good player at linebacker. What do you think, Kirby? Pretty good is an understatement, Brad. This guy is a great player. His team is going to rely on him to shut down this solid rushing down. This linebacker is going to have a lot on his hands today, Kirk. This team is very good on the ground. And if they let this running back get loose, then they're in for a long, long, long day. The First and ten. Ball in the 23 yard line. First and ten. The Tigers line up with three wide. Steps up. He's looking for his man. This one is incomplete. Yeah, he should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline for sure. Second on their ten. own, 43-yard line. 43 yard Second line. down. The Tiger set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Bunner makes the sack. It's third down. Ball on the 44 yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He keeps it. Excellent open field tackle. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. Fourth and nine. The Tigers line up the front. 
Castillo back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Castillo fields it at the 18. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. The Ducks with four receivers. They'll bring him down at the 25. The ball carrier. Second, Second down. Seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. Rackley with three wide receivers. Rackley steps back to pass. Rackley slings it. Schmidt was the intended target. That'll make it third down. Third and their own 25 yard Ball line. On the 25 Third yard down. Line. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He steps up, lets it fly. Caught. Tackle at the 33. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First and 10. Ball on the 33. The Ducks line up with a single set backfield. Ball two. Rackley drops to throw. Throwing left. It's intercepted. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. As we just saw, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. The Ellis start this drive at midfield. Start the drive at the 49-yard line. Ellis comes to the line with three wide. Direct snap to the back. He jukes. And he's tackled at the 50. Nelson gets about a yard on the play. Second and nine, and nine coming up here. They line, line up the 50, 50 yard line. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Ellis, back to pass. Throws. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. Woo. It's third down, nine to go. Three wide outs here. He throws it, and it's incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't, and I'll tell you what. The quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. Fourth and nine. The Tigers line up the punt. West is waiting for the snap. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Calls for the fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. They'll give it off here. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible Second to block 13. with one guy. Ball they line up at the 15. 
Second down, 13 yards to go. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. He's looking to pass. Steps up. He throws left. And he's leveled. What a hit. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Third down, six. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Option right. Ladders back. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Close, close call, but it's good for the first down. That defender down there is upset. He knows that if he would have gotten to the play a second sooner, he would have been able to make the stop. But a great call and a good run there on third down. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Down. Gets in the backfield for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Second and four. He's got a second and 14. Ball on the 25-yard line. Rackley lines up with four wideouts. Rackley will hand it off. We're shaking Baker. Perry tackles him at the 28 yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. Third, so another third down upcoming for the offense. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. Looking to throw. They bring the quarterback down. They get to the quarterback and end that play. No one even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. This one away. Nelson, the return man. He punts it. Nelson fields it for 37. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. Over at the 37-yard line. First and 10. LSU lines up with three receivers. He broke his ankles. Cooper with the tackle at the 46. A nine-yard pickup by the tailback on the counter play. Look at how good this offense has been compared to the rest of the country. I say they're one of the best. Just look at those numbers. Wow. LSU comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Ellis throws. Stevenson hits him in the backfield. A four-yard loss. Oregon has definitely struggled a bit on defense this year. Everyone has been moving the ball up and down the field on them. They really need to stop missing tackles. Yeah, they've had more problems than that, Coach. It's really put a lot of pressure on their offense to try to win the game. The running back has it. Tackle made at the 47. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and 10. First, first ten. down, 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. Ellis unloads. Kane was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. They line up in an eye. 
juke move. Brought down at the 49-yard line. He picks up four yards on the carry. They'll line it up again on third down. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Ellis off the fake. There he goes. Tackle at the 39-yard line. And a big gain on the quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do was run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. First and ten. First down. LSU lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. He rifles it to the right. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24. So they go to the air and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball on this drive. This offense is moving the ball very well. And they're building some beautiful momentum along the way. First and 10. Ball on 24. The Tigers line up with a single setback there. Bounces off the would-be tackler. They call his number and he carries for six yards. From the 18-yard line, second down, four yards to go. LSU comes out with an eye formation. The ball is tipped. That ball should have been picked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm that time. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being open. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Drops back to pass. Stepping up. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. Heck of an effort by the defensive back to knock that pass down. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. They'll line it up for the field goal. This kick will be about a 35 or 36 yarder. LSU could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it sails through the upright. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Lines up for the kickoff. LSU is and lined Castillo up back ready to return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Jude fields it in the end zone. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series, had some promise, but it ended with a punt. The, the offense will start at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Rackley flips it right. Sisk with a takedown at the 30. Jude gains around six yards on the road. They line up at the 30. Second and four coming up here. Rackley, back in the gun, hands it off. And he's level at the 27. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safety, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Rackley has four receivers lined up here. Rackley, back to throw, throws to the middle, it's deflected. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Right. 
fourth and seven. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Nelson will be the return man. Punts the ball away. He dropped it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. Perry takes him down for a loss. Number 16 on the carry. A loss of four on the play. Second, second down 14. now. 14 to go. Ball on the, Ball on the 37 yard line. One man backfield. Tosses it out. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So the toss gets stopped for a loss of two. They line up on 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. The defense comes out of the dime package. He looks. He lets it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. And that one's going to go down in the stats as a drop, but that would have been a tough catch. Well, when you're going to school for free to play football, they expect you to catch those, Kirk. Now, I know the defender got in there to break it up, but there are just no excuses for that. You touch it, you catch it. That always has been the rule. Ford is back awaiting the punt. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Ford takes it at the 14. Personal foul. Keep catching the appearance on the kicking team. 15 yards and spot the foul. First down. First, first down. The Tiger come out showing three wide. First down, look at the throw. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. Pratt was point. the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. Second From their own 28-yard line. The 20 second and 10. The Tiger set up in the gun. Ellis back to pass. He passes it. Complete. And he's tackled at the 44. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First it's and first 10. and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. LSU comes out in the shotgun. Ellis options out. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Ellis, he may have been seriously injured on that play. Second it's and second one. and one. Ball, Ball on the 47 yard line. line. Nelson is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Tries to shoot. Tackle at the 46. Nelson picks up a yard on the play, so that'll make it third down. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 46 yard line. Everyone in the stadium knows who should get the ball in short yardage situations. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Rifles at right. That is ball. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. West is waiting for the snap. He punts this one high in the air. 
Calls for the fair catch. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the nine yard line. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Rackley looking to throw on first down. And he threw that one right at the defensive lineman. Yeah, he's lucky he threw that ball so hard. Otherwise, the guy would have made the catch. He may need an x-ray after this game because he just took a bullet for the team. Second it's and second ten. and ten. Ball on the nine-yard line. Rackley hands off. Good move. Brings him down at the 15. The running back gives him six on the ground. Third and four. Ball on the 15. Oregon sets up with four receivers. On the ground with the tailback. Perry tackles him at the 18 yard line. He'll be stopped just short of the first down. Oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. Fourth and one. The Ducks are lining up to punt it away. Nelson is the deep man awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Nelson fields it at the 44. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the They'll same. They'll take over at the 40. They'll yard set up line. shot at the 42 yard line. line. Bunch formation. He juked him out of his shoes. He's taken down at the 48. Nelson comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll bring up second down. Second, second down and five. five. Ball, Ball 48. 48 yard. LSU lines up in a bunch ah. formation. Sean drops back to pass. That is ball. Oh, the he had the pick and he dropped it. The quarterback is going to think twice about throwing the football his way again. Uh, safety couldn't hang on to the ball this time. But you can bet if he gets a chance again, this ball will be picked off. Third and five. Third and five ball situation. On yard. Ball on the 48-yard line. Dean lines up in the deep back. High formation. Looking to throw. Got him as he threw. That's a live ball. It's picked up. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Well, they avoided a turnover right there. Man, oh, man. That was a close one. Good thing that kid was paying attention and fell on the football. Fourth and five. LSU lining up the punt. West awaits the snap. It's a high kick and it holds up there. Signals for a fair catch. Yo, the defense really one. stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. The They'll take over at the 20-yard line. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. Rackley back in the gun. Rackley steps back to pass. He's going to take off. McMahon with the tackle on the at the 26. Gain of six on the play. Second, Second and four coming four. up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Ducks have five receivers on this play. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Four wide receivers in the formation. He drops back with the throw. And that one's incomplete. And wow, you don't get any more open than that. Right now, the quarterback cannot believe he just missed his man. 
That had big play written all over it. They'll line up at the 35. Second and 10. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Hughes takes the delayed handoff. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go from the halfback. That's a loss on the play. From their own 34 yard line. Third down. Rackley with four wide receivers. Back to pass. Surveys the field. He lets it go. Complete. Brought down at the 45 yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third and five yard line. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Nelson is back to receive, punts the ball away. And he can't hang on to the ball. Coach, I think he just took his eyes off that one. Oh, yeah, you just can't do things like that. in the red zone. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. Rackley drops to throw. He passes it. Got it to his receiver. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk, good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. We'll see what First they can do goal. in the red zone. Ball on the one yard line. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Rackley hands it off. And he takes a big hit at the two yard line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The running back the has to shake that guard. are not the supposed play. to bring you down behind the line of scrimmage. Come on, Kirk. That was a good-looking play by the corner. He did a good job of wrapping up and not letting him third go anywhere. Ball on the that brings up third and goal. Yeah. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Looks to pass. He steps up. Rose. Touchdown, yeah. Ducks. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Yeah, and a quarterback said, you want the ball, go get it. And did he ever. He got it and took it for six. Oh, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. They'll line up for the point after. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Ready to kick this one off. Oregon is lined up for the kickoff. He sends it downfield. Ross fields it at the seven. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Right. 
Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Nelson is the single setback. Nelson up the gut, tries to juke. Johnson tackles him at the 35-yard line. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First, and ten. First down. The Tiger with four receivers. Shaw drops back, moves up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. And it's intercepted. Spin move. Cooper with a takedown at the 33-yard line. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. Right. This is a great drive. place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 15. Ten. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. He's tackled at the 31. The 20, they pick up two yards. Gain of two on the play. Second, Second down. down. Ball on the 31-yard line. LSU. Lines up in a dime defense here. He jukes him. Warren brings him down for a loss. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Third, Third down, 13. Ball of a 36-yard line. The Ducks with four receivers. He's looking. He fires. This one is incomplete. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? And they're ready to punt this one away. Duran is waiting for the snap. Hangs it up high. Ford calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They start this drive and just want to over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. One man backfield. Sean on first down. Down the middle. His receiver has it. And that tackle's going to save him six. There's an injured player on the field. Whew, this would be a huge loss for this team. Let's hope this guy can get back into the game. First, First down. Team. Ball on the 38-yard line. LSU lines up in a shotgun set. Nelson gets a ball outside, and they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Zero yards on that play. Second they line up at the 38. Ball ball second the down and 10 to go. Line. The Tigers line up with a single set backfield. Again with the run, sheds that one. Makes a move, and he's tackled at the 39. Nelson gains about a yard on the play. That'll bring up third down. They line up at 39. It's third and nine. And they better keep an eye on that tight end. He drops back. He delivers, and he pulls it down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. Right. 
First and it's ten. first and ten. Ball, Ball on the 44 yard line. line. Nelson lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Little handoff. They'll bring him down at the 39 yard line. A five yard pickup for the tailback. Second, Second down. Line. Ball on the 39 yard line. Back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete pass. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So that'll make it third down. Third this defense five. faces another Ball third down. On the 39-yard line. This is when the impact player at tight end can make play. John with the give. Tackle at the 29-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. First, first down, 10 to go on the 29-yard line. Nelson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Burner tackles him for a loss on the play. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. That's what Second time and trackers will bring you, Kurt. Ball on the Second down. Yard line. Shaw with three wide receivers. <laughs> Nelson takes the give. Tackle made at the 28. Nelson gets three yards on the carry. That'll make it third down. Third the offense down. lines up trying to convert on third down here. LSU sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. Looking. He gets rid of it. Offense falls on it. Shaw probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Some coaches want to say mind over matter, but if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. Fourth and one. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. West awaits the snap. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Signals for a fair catch. Nail down the punt at the two. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive. They were forced to three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing for them this time. And maybe Stewie needs to get out there. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. So they'll take over now in the shadow of their own goalposts. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Hughes gets the call. That's a great tackle. at the ball carry. Hughes gains about two yards on the road. That'll make it second down. Second it's second and eight. Ball on the four-yard line. This is a situation where you don't want to make a mistake. Gives it to the back. Sisk with the tackle at the 11-yard line. A seven-yard run seven by the running back. On the play. Third it's third one. down. Ball on the 11-yard line. The Ducks come to the line with their jumbo package. He sheds it. He's tackled at the 13. That'll be enough to move the chain. You know, you can just look at the offensive line and see the surge. And that running back did a good job of leading the blocks to pick up the first down. Oh, yeah, Kirk. The big uglies are getting it down up front, aren't they? They line up at the 13. First, first down. And 10. Ball on the 13. The Tigers bring in their dive package. He drops back. Looking. He throws right. Got his man on the run. 
They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if the defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. First, First down, down, 10 to go on the 37-yard line. line. The Ducks with four receivers. Rackley set to go to the air. Throws this one out to the right. And he's tackled at the 45. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. First and ten. Ball on the 45. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. They'll knock him down for a loss. Number 16 on the run. Three-yard loss on the play. Second it's second down now, 13 to go. Ball, ball, ball right around midfield. Yeah. Oregon sets up with four receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Throwing right. Oh, great hit. Good open field tackle. That one was nearly overthrown. Boy, the receiver makes a great play by putting his hands up. He had enough vertical leap to get his hands on it. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. And it's caught. Way to look it in. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brad. I don't know what the quarterback saw. But, hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. Second it's second and seven. Ball on the, ball on the 30 yard line. Rackley has four receivers lined up here. He keeps it. They'll bring him down at the 17. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. On the offense. He looks like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. Second the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. He drops back. Toss is short. Batted ball. And nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So that'll make it third down. Third this defense ball. faces another ball third down. The 39 yard line. The Ducks set up in the gun. Back to pass. Rolls to the left. Let's it fly. He catches another one. And he will score. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. They'll line it up for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Over six minutes remain here in the second quarter. And the score, Oregon 14, LSU 3. He sends it off. 
Ross fields it in the end zone. A little juke. Cohen is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. It looks like he may have hurt his leg on that play. you got to hope he can walk this one off. The Tiger come out showing three wide, stepping up over the middle. It falls incomplete. He put just a little too much power behind that throw to his receiver. Oh boy, guys, I think he'd like that pass back. Yeah, Kirk, he won't miss that receiver too often. Second, Second down. Ball on the 21 yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Shaw hands it off, and he's tackled in the open field. Nelson gains around three yards on the run. Third and third and seven. Ball on 24. Five DBs on the field. John back to throw. He unloads it. Complete. And he's taken down at the 42. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. First, First down, first down 10. 10 to go on the 42 yard line. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Eye formation here. Nelson hits it on the inside. And he breaks another. Brought down at the 49. Nelson gains seven yards on that play. So that'll make it second down. Second, second and three. Ball right around midfield. Yard line. Nelson is the single setback. Make the move. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Third the offense faces another third down as they line it up. LSU sets up in the eye. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Let's start on the offense. The penalty will force him into third and long now. Yes, sir. The coach is going to give him a little talking to when he gets off the field. Third so eight. another third down. Yeah, upcoming for the offense. Looks to pass. Moves up in the pocket. And that one's fallen incomplete. Oh, Great play. That's how you make someone drop the football. Let them know you're there, and then, wow, put your pads on them. That's the way you make it hard to catch the ball. I will say that. I agree. Fourth and eight. It's fourth oh, down now. We'll, we'll see the punt team. West is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Dude takes it to the 16. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 18. They come out with four wide out. Dude takes it up the middle. Town brings him down for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second, Second down and 11, 11 yards to the sticks. 17-yard line. The Ducks with four receivers. It's a direct snap. McMahon with a takedown at the 29. An impressive first down run, and man, he was flying. That was almost... Howdy up, sweetheart. You better take a good angle on this kid, or else he is caught. Let's 
take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Rackley looking to throw on first down. And he brings it down. Ford with the tackle at the 45-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. It's first down. First and 10. Rackley is back in the gun. He's looking to pass. Rackley delivers. And fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. First and 10. Ball on the 43. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. Hughes on the run. Nelson with a takedown at the 22. On the, run. the running back picks up a yard on the count of one. From the 42-yard line. It's second down and nine to go. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Again with the run. Sisk tackles him at the 39-yard line. Hughes. Gets three yards on the carry. For the 39-yard line. Third and six. 39-yard line. The Ducks come out of the shotgun. Hugh takes the give. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down ball now, and we'll see the punt team. Line. Duran awaits the snap. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Four signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But well, remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll go to work on it. the point the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Tiger set up in the gun. Steps up. He'll dump this one off. Good open field tackle. The Tigers are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. From their own 24-yard line. Second, Second down and six. six. Ball on the 24-yard line. Drop back to pass. Let's it fly. Got him on the run. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Sean still has it. They line up at the 34. Second down, 15 to go. Shaw lines up with four wideouts. He's rolling right. Shaw passes. It's tipped. And now it's a foot race to the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. How do they let the tight end get so open on such a big play? That was poor defense. It looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. They'll line up for the extra point. Yeah. 
And he adds the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Oregon 14, LSU 10. is ready to kick it away. Is lined up Decent with kick. Ball. Number 20, back to return. Jude fields it at the three. He jukes. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. It won't force them to punt the last time they had the ball. Right, here's the offensive production statistics. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. From the gun. First down, look at the throw. Throws it, caught. Moore brings him down at the 34-yard line. Oregon will take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second, Second and five. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Ducks with four receivers. He drops back. Looks. Perry will make the sack. LSU takes a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. They line up at the 29. Third and 10. They're packed in tight on the line. They hand it off. The defense calls the timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Nelson is back awaiting the punt. Punts the ball away. Nelson fields at the 29. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. The offense will start at the 29 yard line. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Up the middle with a fullback. He's taken down at the 30. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. I like what the coach is doing here with this hurry-up offense. Watch for this young defense to get a little confused on this play. He's looking. He steps up. Throws it out there. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. One man back for you. Gone. Drops the throw. He passes it, and it's the tight end. Cooper with the tackle at the 44-yard line. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Oregon 14, LSU 10. The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start the second half. He kicks it off. Ross fields it at the seventh. Sheds that one. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take first down. The 28-yard line. First and ten. Making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Right. 
Second, Second down. 12. Ball on the 26-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. He's looking to pass. Down the middle. His receiver has it. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on their own 42. 42-yard line. Nelson, the lone back. Nelson gets a toss. And he's all the way down to the 30-yard line. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? That, my friends, was a masterful display of skills right there. First, First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Single set back for you. A little juke. Brought down at the 25. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard-nosed running, and it gives him another solid day at the ballpark. Second From the 25-yard line. Ball on the 25 second down. Yard line. LSU lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Shaw is going to be sacked for a loss. There's a flag on the play. Good call. Yeah, he practically brought him to the ground there. Second We've got a second and 14. Ball on the, the 35-yard line. line. Shaw with three wide receivers. Shaw back to pass. He passes it. This one is incomplete. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Nothing gets under a coach's skin more than a penalty like that. Believe me, I know any time a player on my team committed a penalty, they were running stadium steps the next day. Second We've got a second and long. John, back in the gun. John, set to go to the air. Let's it go. Intercepted. He's taken down at the 48. And that's his first pick of the year. And what a great interception it was. That can change the whole landscape of this game. It's a one possession game right now, so every score counts. That turnover could turn out to be the difference maker. Well, driver start the 48-yard 40, line. First Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Going right. Finds the receiver. So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. We've got a first and ten. Ball in 34. Rackley with four wide receivers. Sis! Brings him down for a loss. Eats his left right through him. Who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. They line up at the 36. Second down at 12. The Ducks come out in the shotgun, and they'll run him again. Jude gets three yards every play. 
three-yard gain on the play. They line up at the 33. It's third down and nine to go. The Ducks with four receivers. Rackley drops back to pass. Rackley is going to be sacked for a loss. Wow, he just went move right down. That didn't sound good. Especially when it's your quarterback who goes boom. The Ducks line up the punt for the return man. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Allen calls for the fair catch, and they'll down it at the four. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. John with the give. And he's all the way down to the 45-yard line. And he busted that one wide open. On defense, you can't afford to give up big runs like that. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. You got to make them work for it. That first down was too easy. First, first and 10. 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Gets the call again. He's tackled at the 47. They'll get two on that one. Second, Second and eight. Ball, ball right around the midfield. Seven yard line. Shaw lines up with four wideouts. Feeling the pressure. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First, First down, down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Nelson lines up as a single back. Shaw with a nice play fake. Shaw is sacked. Got a second and long. LSU lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Under heavy pressure. Hooper will make the sack. They line up at the 42. It's the down. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. There's a fumble. Nelson recovers a loose ball. They narrowly escape there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. Four and the butter comes on the ball field, getting ready to send one off. Yard. West is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Jew fields it to 30. And he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over. Yeah, good downfield pursuit. They'll First down, 10 yards to go. Yard All on the 32-yard line. Ten. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Jew takes the give. Brought down at the 48. And he busts a big one on this defense. With his halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop it. Right. 
First and ten. Ball on their own 48. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. The halfback with a carry. Drives to Juke. And down he goes at the 44. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up. He throws left. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back. And the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job with a fake handoff, too. First We've got ten. a first and ten. Ball, Ball on the 21. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Jude gets another carry. They'll bring him down at the 18. Jude gets three yards on the way. That'll make it second down. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. He rolls out to the right. Wants to throw outside. That was his third touchdown of the day. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And those decisions he's been making are the right ones too, my friend. They'll line it up for the extra point. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. Kickoff. He kicks off. Ross from his own end zone. That return should help the offense out a little. Yo, this kid is a sensational kick returner. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. Eh, that's what I said. Almost perfect. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Tiger set up in the gun. And the snap goes to the back. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. They line up at the 37. It's second and 10. Shaw with four wide receivers. Nelson gets another hand. Price brings him down for a loss. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. They line up at the 34. It's third and 13. The Tigers line up with a single setback to him. Looking to throw. He throws left. Someone got a hand on it. The defense holds. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incompletion. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. West awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Jude fields at the 29. Passing wasn't much of a 
problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Single set backfield. Brackley crosses it left. Perry gets in the backfield for a loss. They were trying to stretch it to the sideline, but the defense was just too quick. Those guys were in the backfield so fast. I thought they were going to pick it off. Second they line up at the ball. 40. Ball Second down. The, 40 the Ducks ball. line up with four wideouts. Rackley drops to throw. He snags it. Gets past the tackler. Didn't get any 20 on the reception. No gain on the play. From their own 40 yard line. Ball on the it's third and long. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Brackley, back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Got it. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 28 yard line. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. A spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First, First down, down. Oregon oh, in a four-wide set. Rackley makes a handoff. Somehow gets the ball away. Way to look it in. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation on the defense. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. And so the wideout catches the short pass for the touchdown. When this football team gets inside the 10-yard line, you never know what to expect. I hear you, Coach. Sometimes they run, sometimes they pass. They really keep the defense guessing. They're lining up for the PAT. And he converts the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. up to kick this one off. Nelson and Ross deep to return. He sends it downfield. Nelson fields it in the end zone. He's hit and got away. So the offense takes over and the last time they had the ball they had a tough time getting anything going. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. LSU Comes out with three receivers bunch. Sean gives it up the middle. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second it's second and ten. And ten. Ball on their own 16. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Sean flips it out, and he's stopped behind the line. One-yard loss. Third 
Third and 11 coming up here. The defense is playing the pass on this one. Steps up. Looking. Got hit as he threw. Got it to his receiver. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert a third and long, it just makes them sick. First and their own, 38 yard line. First down. With the misdirection. And they'll bring him down behind the line. One yard loss for the halfback. They line up to 37. It's second and 11. LSU lines up in a double tight set. Looks to pass. He lets it go. It's deflected. Well, Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Third will bring up third down. Ball on the the offense faces another third down as they line it up. The defense lines up in a dime, surveys the field. He airs it out. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He hung on to it, but he wasn't in play. Hey, Kirk, how wide is the football field? Uh, I think it's 53 yards. Coach. Yep, 53 yards, my friend. And he couldn't drop it in there between the sidelines. Oh, and look at all that green. Oh, oh, 37 yards. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. You is back deep to return. He gets it off. Signals for a fair catch. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. They do, my friend. Look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll, They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Here's the halfback. And he's taken down at the 22. On Nothing the going on that one. No gain on the play. Second it's 10. second and 10. Ball on the 22 Ball on 22. Yard. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. Looking to throw. He flings it. It falls incomplete. He just overthrew them on that one. Quarterback has to make those passes. You can't overthrow a guy like that. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tigers bring in the nickel package. Rackley drops back, looks, lets it fly. Incomplete pass. Schmidt was the intended target on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. Fourth and ten. The Ducks are lining up to punt it away. Nelson is the deep man awaiting the return. He punts it. Nelson fields it at the 37. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll, They'll take over at the 41 yard line. First and 10. He lets it go. It's deflected. Incomplete pass. pass Jones incomplete. was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. From their own 41-yard line, it's second and 10. 
The Tiger go with the eye formation. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. He's all the way down to the 31-yard line. Heck of a catch by the wideout to pick up a nice chunk of yardage. This kid is a very special football player. He can make the catch over the middle in traffic, or he can take it the distance using his speed. He can do it all. First, First and 10. ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Yard line. The Tiger line up in an I formation. The Tiger go with the I formation. Shaw with the give. Adam tackles him at the 30 yard line. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. Second From the 30 line. yard line. Ball on the it's second down. Oregon lines up with five defensive backs. Nelson gets another handoff. Tackle made at the 30. Zero yards on that play. Third down. Ball on the 30 yard line. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Looks to pass. Looking. He steps up. Throws it. And it's incomplete. He's just lucky that he got that pass away. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. Fourth down. The field goal attempt will be about a 47-yarder. The kick is up, and it is good. Not a bad kick to get your team three points, Kirk. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. They line up and kick this one away. He got all of that one. Castillo from his own end zone. He jukes it. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Rackley has four receivers lined up here. He fires this one. This one is incomplete. The ball is roughly separated from the receiver by the defender. And that's the way you play defense. Rough and tough with no apologies. Second, Second and down and ten to go. On the, the Ducks yard. line up with three wide. Jew yeah. on the give. We're shaking bake move. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. The Ducks set up in the gun. Moves up to the pocket. Here comes the pressure. How did they get to him there, guys? I'll tell you how they got to him, Brad. They brought the blitz that time. They confused the blocking scheme up front, and they didn't know who to block. This freed up a lineman for the sack. Yeah, and sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. That's a good defensive call right there. They line up to punt this one away. On the 18-yard line. Duran is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Nelson takes it to 36. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 39. 
LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll give it off here. Here's an opening. Tackle at the 48. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. They'll go with a run once again. Bonner tackles him for a loss on the play. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Three down and one to go. Our score is Oregon 28, LSU 13. Second, Second down, 12. about 12 yards to go. Ball right around midfield. Nelson sweeps right, bounces off a would-be tackler. Tackled for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Third and 15 coming up. Ball right around midfield. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. He throws. They'll bring him down at the 37. Ross probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Trust me, this young man is not going to let these trainers keep him out of the football game. He's as tough as they come, and he'll be back today. comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Second, Second down. down. The Tiger line up in an I formation. Give to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 34. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Third line up again, again on third down. down. 34 yard line. The Tiger come out the shotgun. Set to go to the air. He passes it. He dives and makes the interception. And they come up with another turnover. Now the defense is playing very opportunistic out there today. That was their third interception of the game. They're going to flag the celebration there. <laughs> First and ball. Rackley is back in the gun. And he's tackled at the 14 yard line. 16 on the run. No gain on the play. Second 
second it's second and long. long. Ball on the 14-yard line. Oregon comes out with five receivers. Brackley, back to pass. Wants to throw outside. They can't connect. Incomplete. That's just a Number great four defensive four play. The it won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. That'll make it third down. Oregon, and line up in a jumbo set here. Ball on the 14 yard line. They'll give it off here. A little juke. He's taken down at the 20 yard line. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Duran awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Nelson fields it at the 39. Well, guys, as this offense takes the field, tell me what you think they need to do to get back in the game. They have enough time to get two scores on the board, but they can't afford to falter this drive. Yep, the clock's ticking, so it's crucial that the offense gets a score on the board in this drive. The drive. They'll start this drive at the 46. First and 10. from the shotgun. Shaw drops to throw. Shaw rifles it right. And he's all the way down to the 15. Wow. Well, don't go away yet, folks. That was just a great pass and catch, and what perfect timing to get something going. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two-possession lead. They better pick it up, because this game is a long way from being over. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. Shaw, back to pass. Throws it out there. Incomplete pass. That time, the wideout just got too excited, too quickly, and forgot to catch the football. Boy, Lee, we continue to see this. It looked like he was ready to celebrate before he caught it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 15. The Tiger come out in a bunch formation. Shaw drops back. Looking. He's looking down the middle. Got his man. Touchdown. And he managed to find his tight end for his second touchdown reception of the ball game. They'll go for two in this situation. They put everyone up on the line. Shaw hands it off. No, play fake. He's got it for two. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. up for the kickoff. Number 20. Here's the kick. Castillo from his own end zone. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. Here are the offensive production stats, brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Ace backfield. Brackley with the toss. Halfback pass. Catches it. Brought down at the 23. Interesting play call there, Coach. They went with the trick play, but they didn't get a whole lot out of it. Hey, as long as you don't turn it over on one of those plays, 
the coach will be happy and will be willing right, to run it again. Five. It's second down and five to go. Yard line. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. He rifles it. It's complete. They'll bring him down on the 38-yard line. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. We've got a first and 10. First Ball and on the 38-yard line. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Ducks come line. out showing three wide. Play action. He passes it. Complete. Broke away from one. At the point. And they finally push him out at the 27. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Kirk, it looked like to me the defense just fell asleep on that play. No, that was just a well-executed play. They picked the perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. First and ten. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. Tackle at the 24. That's a three-yard pickup. Three-yard gain on the play. They line up at the 24. Second and seven coming up here. Rackley with four wide receivers. Yu gets the call. Moore with the tackle. And the 20. Yu gets about four yards on the play. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 20. Third and three. The Ducks with four receivers. At the 19 yard line, that run didn't go far. They'll spot the ball a yard from the line of scrimmage. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. And it splits the upright. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Oregon is ready to Oregon kick it away. Is lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Nelson fields it in the end zone. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? Well, time isn't on their side anymore. They need to get this ball down the field and get in the end zone. You're right, coach. It's now a two-possession game. There's not too much time to spare. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. LSU sets up in the eye. Hooper tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Loss of two on the toss play. It's second down. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Setting up play action. That's incomplete. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. From their own 24-yard line. Third down, 12 yards to go. LSU comes out of the shotgun. Shaw drops back to pass. He delivers. And it falls incomplete. And that's a big stop for this defense. Not so fast, Brad. This offense is losing. They may try to go for it here. It's fourth down. The punt team lines up. Hugh, the return man. He 
gets it away. Hughes takes it at the 32. It's a little late in the game to be punting with a two-possession deficit, don't you think, Coach? I think so, but this coach has a lot of faith in his defense. The problem is that he needs his offense to step up and put points on the board. And they can't do that when they're catching the ball. The this drive will start at the 40-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offside. Over the so the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First, First down and five to go. Ball on their own 45. Brackley with the give. Towns tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. So the fullback loses about a yard. Second, Second and six. six. Ball on their own 44. Yeah. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. Perry with a takedown at the 45. With the carry. One yard gain on the play. They line up at the 45. Ball on the 35 coming up. They come out with four wide out. Brackley, back to pass. He unloads it. Finds his receiver. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards. Well, this wide receiver is definitely having a solid game. He's getting his yards, but more importantly, he's moving the chains for first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. On the run, nine-yard gain on the play. Second it's second and one. Ball, ball, ball on the 32-yard line. line. Yeah. Rackley comes to the line with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Let's it fly. It's complete. Allen brings him down at the 28. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. And they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Brought down at the 26. Number 16 with the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down. Ball on the 26-yard line. Rackley with four wide receivers. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. And they move the chains once again. That's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. One man back for you. Rackley with a pitch. And he's stopped behind the line. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing one and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Second so it's second and 13. Ball on the 19-yard line. line. Oregon in a four-wide set. And they make the stop at the 15. On the carry. Gain of four on the play. Third so another nine. third down upcoming for the offense. Oregon comes out with five receivers. Looks to pass. 
He looks. Rackley passes. And it's incomplete. Great effort here by the wideout. But you know what? The quarterback was off just enough to cause the incompletion. They'll line it up for the field goal. This will be about a 32 or 33 yard field goal. It's up. And it is good. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Oregon is lined up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Nelson fields it in the end zone. Make the move. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. Dean is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They're in the big eye. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Well, I'll tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Second down. gets a good lead on this play and was able to stop him for a loss. They were enough for the 20. It's third and 14. Sean comes to the line with three wide. Sean. Steps back to pass. He's looking. He throws it. It's deflected. He somehow comes up with it. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First, first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. And they have three receivers bunched. Sean on play action. This one will fall incomplete. Ross was, was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second it's second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Nelson alone in the backfield. Nelson on the give, and he's taken down at the 37. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Third so another eight. third down Ball upcoming. The, 37 yard line. the defense is in the nickel. Sean, back to throw. He steps up. Someone got a hand on it. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. Fourth and eight. They come out in a punt formation. Hugh is back to receive. Punts the ball away. Jude fields it at the 26. Across midfield. And that was a sensational punt return. Yeah, Brad, he got some really good blocks downfield and busted through. And 
they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Oregon Ducks take over at the 41-yard line. First and 10. Oregon comes out of the shotgun, makes a move. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, no that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. One yard. Second down and 10 to go. Oregon sets up with four receivers. Number 16 on the carry. No gain on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 41 yard line. LSU lines up in a dime defense here. Till the last moment, someone got a hand up. Well, well that, that was, was an impressive point. stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. Fourth and ten. Oregon Ball lining up the punt. One yard line. Duran is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. He dropped it. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Well, Brad, they still have two possessions. I think they have to get into the end zone on this drive. No doubt about it, Coach. Time is running out, and if they want a chance the to win LSU this game, Tigers then they need a score the right here. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Shaw lines up with four wideouts. They'll throw on first down. He lets it go. He almost in had it, but it's incomplete. Smith was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Second, second and 10. ten. Ball on the ball 20. On the 20 yard line. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. Shaw steps back to pass, throws it to the outside. And it falls, falls incomplete. Well, you know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. Third That'll bring up third down. Ball. Third down to 10 coming up. The defense lines up in a dime. The defense is playing the pass on this one. John drops back to pass. Down the middle. And it's picked off from the tip. Dives for extra yardage. And I don't think they'll be picking on him anymore. That was his second interception of the ball game. If there were any doubts coming into this game, whether or not this guy could defend those receivers, he's pretty much answered those questions. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. <laughs> We see you capitalize on the good field position. First and ten. The Ducks with four receivers. Tackle at the 36-yard line. What sprung this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. Second, Second down. One. Oregon in a four wide set. Rackley hands it left. He jukes. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16 yard line. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. And we 
take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Rackley lines up in the shotgun. You off the right side. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. What do you think of this back so far today, Kirk? He's looked pretty good to me, Coach. He's been effective between the tackles, and he's shown his speed on some outside runs. And he's been a huge part of this offensive game plan all day. Don't forget about that. From the 12-yard line, it's second down, six yards to go. Again. Shifty move there. LSU will take a timeout and they'll have two remaining. They'll line up on the 10. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. And he's level at the nine yard line. LSU will take a timeout. That's their second pass. This will be a 26-yard field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Sends it sailing downfield. Nelson from his own end zone. Guys, what do you think about this situation? At this point, I think this game looks like it's out of reach, Coach. Nah, not so fast, Coach. It's only a two-possession game, and these guys won't give up. A quick score, an onside kick, and another quick score, and we're talking about a completely different situation. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. That's incomplete. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something they have to work very hard to be able to overcome. Second they line up at the 16. The 16 Second down. Line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. He throws. This one is incomplete. He was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it third down. Third We've got third and ten. ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. John set to go to the air. He fires left side. Got it to his receiver. He's taken down at the 31. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. LSU sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Got him on the run. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And that catch gives the big fella 100 yards on the day. These guys do a great job of utilizing the tight end in their passing game, something that most teams don't do in college football. There's a flag down, and here's the call. On sports and life conduct, on the offense. 15 minutes, first down. First, first in a mile. Ball on the 37. Yard. LSU comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He tosses it short. Incomplete. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. 
That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 37. LSU lines up with three receivers. Sean drops to throw. Another catch. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. single back looking he's under pressure he's brought down at the 45 yard line four sacks in this game is not a simple feat fellas this kid makes it look easy it's just total domination Oregon brings in the nickel here Shaw drops back he might not be able to get the pass off. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. The They'll set up shots at the 39. At the 39 yard line. First and 10. Oregon is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. The Tigers call for a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Oregon will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. Third, Third down, 14, 14 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. LSU had a few missed opportunities in this game. I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Well, it's been a pleasure bringing you this game. Again, our final score, Oregon 37, LSU 21. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.